While castles may be large and beautiful, many are rumored to be haunted. After all, some castles are hundreds of years old, and the spirits of centuries lurk the halls. Here are the top 15 most haunted castles on Earth. Number 15. Dalhousie Castle If you ever take a trip to Scotland, then we suggest seeking out Dalhousie Castle. Historically controlled by the chieftains of House Ramsay, it was built all the way back in the 13th century and has since become a hotel and event venue. Yet we advise against staying the night, as the castle is known to be the stomping ground of two ghosts. The first is Sir Alexander Ramsay, and he was a knight who was captured and starved to death in a nearby castle, and while he didn't die at Dalhousie, he seemed to have returned in order to roam the halls. Another notable ghoul is the Grey Lady, believed to be the ghost of a 16-year-old heartbroken Lady Catherine. She's often spotted wandering around the towers and downstairs corridors, looking for her lost love. And while both ghosts aren't known to be especially mischievous, we would still avoid sleeping here if possible. Number 14. Pradyama Castle While most castles stand unsupported, Pradyama Castle certainly spins that narrative. Nestled into a mountain near the Italian and Slovenian border, it was first built in 1272 and became the site of quite a bit of drama in the early 1500s. You see, a knight by the name of Erasmus Lug had owned the castle, yet he got into some serious trouble when he killed a commander of the Holy Roman Empire's Imperial Army. This caused him to retreat back to his castle, where after pulling off some robberies, he was besieged. However, unbeknownst to his enemies, the caves that the castle was attached to allowed him to funnel up food and water to his pantries. Yet despite having this lifeline, he was eventually killed by one of his own men. Ever since this betrayal, he has been periodically sighted wandering around the castle. Number 13. Vergard Castle If you ever happen to travel to northern Denmark, then Vergard Castle is a beautiful spot to visit. Built in 1481, it's surrounded by a very large moat and is renowned for its stately architecture. Yet beyond its appearances, it holds a very sinister spirit. You see, it was originally the house of a Dutch noblewoman, Ingeborg Skeel. Despite being quite charitable, she was viewed with suspicion by many in her town. She managed the estate despite being a woman, which was rather strange at the time. This perception is not helped by the fact that she was apparently a murderer, as she reportedly killed the architect that designed her moat so that he would never build a similar one ever again. Yet regardless of whether or not this is true, she still reportedly roams the halls and can still be seen at night to this very day. Number 12. The Castle of Good Hope While most of the castles on this list were once the princely estates of the upper echelon of European society, the Castle of Good Hope is an example of an especially impressive colonial castle. Completed in Cape Town by the Dutch East India Company in 1679, it is the oldest building in South Africa, and has served both as a prison and a fortress over the years. As such, it shouldn't come as a surprise that some spooky occurrences have occurred there. One of the most infamous spots is the Bell Tower, as a soldier once committed suicide there by hanging himself from the bell rope. Ever since, the bell has occasionally been rung without any human assistance. A black dog is also known to haunt the grounds, and he's been seen running up to visitors only to disappear shortly after. As a final note, a ghostly noblewoman by the name of Lady Anne Barnard has appeared on several occasions, and she supposedly only shows up when distinguished guests are in the building. Thus, if you'd like to see some spirits, then you may want to pay a visit to the Castle of Good Hope. Number 11. Bungar Fort India is a country that's known for its beautiful architecture, and Bungar Fort certainly ranks among its most interesting buildings. Built in the 17th century in the Indian region of Rajasthan, it is an imposing building that became a popular tourist attraction in recent years. Yet its true claim to fame are the legends that surround it. The most well-known is the story of a king named Mano Singh, who built the Bangar Ford with the permission of an ascetic named Balanath. However, his one condition was that the shadow of the fort must never fall upon the home of the ascetic. But as fate would have it, Mado Singh ended up making it large enough so the fort's shadow did pass over Balanath's home. This caused the ascetic to place a curse on it, and ever since, the ghosts of the past have haunted the Bargar's fort corridors. Number 10. Charleville Castle If you ever get the chance to go to Ireland, then you may want to pay Charleville Castle a visit. Located near the village of Tullamore, it was originally built as a holiday residence by the first Earl of Charleville and is easily one of the most elegant vacation homes out there. 
However, what makes this castle stand out is not its beauty, but its ghost. You see, on April 3rd of 1861, Lady Harriet Burry, who was the daughter of the third Earl of Charleville, was sent to the nursery on the top floor so she could wash her hands. However, on the way down, the seven-year-old tried to slide down the banister, and this move turned fatal when she lost her balance and fell two stories down on the stone floor below. She supposedly now haunts the castle, and has been known to bang doors and sing as she runs through the halls. Thus, while she may be a friendly ghost, we'd still say that Charleville would be a pretty spooky place to visit. Number 9. Casa Loma If you happen to hail from Toronto, then chances are you've heard of Casa Loma. This massive Gothic-style mansion is located midtown and was completed in 1914 for the modern equivalent of about $110 million. It was originally owned by wealthy financier Sir Henry Pellot and his wife Mary. However, due to the property taxes on the house being raised from $600 a year to $1,000 a month soon after they moved in, Pellot was forced to leave the home in 1923. Yet despite his untimely eviction, the couple and their servants are still seen on the ground to this day. One of the most famous is the White Lady. She was a serving woman who died of influenza in the early 1900s, and nowadays she's often spotted by cafeteria staff as they clean up at the end of a shift. Sir Henry has also been seen roaming Casa Loma, reminiscing about when it used to be his home. Yet perhaps the most elusive spirit is his wife Mary, who's been known to tamper with tapes and cameras when they're placed in her bedroom. So we think you'd agree that while Casa Loma may be a cool place to visit during the daytime, it may not be the best place to stay at for the night. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Hoska Castle Put simply, Hoska Castle is extremely strange. After all, while most castles were built for nobles to live in, local folklore has it that Hoska Castle was made to house demons. Now, we'll admit that this may seem a little strange, yet there is some evidence out there to support this claim. You see, it was built with no sources of water, no kitchens, no fortifications, and housed no occupants at the time of its completion. It's also located in an isolated area filled with swamps, forests, and mountains, meaning that it's nowhere near any well-known trade routes. As such, many locals believe that it was built to house a bottomless pit. Known as the Gateway to Hell, the pit was reportedly the site of many occult occurrences, as many demonic creatures apparently emerged from its depths at night. A chapel was built directly over it, and seems to cater to these creatures due to the depictions of demons and strange animals that cover its walls. Yet despite the chapel's presence, screams and scratches are often heard below the chapel floors, and ghosts are known to wander the halls at night. This is made worse by the fact that the Nazis were known to have used the castle to conduct occult experiments, leading them to supposedly attempting to harness the powers of hell. So we think it's fair to say that Hoska Castle isn't exactly a destination at the top of most people's bucket lists. Number 7. Musham Castle Few castles have had a history quite as turbulent as Musham. Built on the ruins of an old Roman fortress in 1191, it had a part to play in several major wars as it either housed soldiers or was a battle site in the German Peasants' War. The Crusades, the Austrian-Hungarian War, and even the Flemish Revolts. However, its real claim to fame is the fact that between 1675 and 1690, it was the administrative center for a massive local witch hunt. Now, it is without question that this witch hunt was extremely biased, as of the 139 people murdered, all but two were beggars, and strangely enough, almost every supposed witch was male. Regardless, thanks to all the wars and witch hunts, many spirits have been able to accumulate in the castle. This has meant that visitors often hear banging sounds and footfalls, see white mists floating in the air, and sometimes even feel someone's breath on them. As such, Musham Castle is considered to be one of Austria's most haunted buildings. Number 6. Poppy Castle Tuscany is known to be a land of rolling hills, scenic villages, and world-class wineries. Yet, within the region, one can find Poppy Castle, which, while beautiful, is unfortunately known to be haunted. Now, the castle was built in the mid-12th century, and was the site of many regional battles between two local factions known as the Ghibellines and the Guelphs. And while these battles were quite important, the castle has also gained quite the occult following due to the activities of a certain Lady Matilda. The story goes that she was widely considered to be the most beautiful girl in the area, yet was forcibly married to an old man who was the lord of the castle. As such, she would frequently invite young men from the village to do chores around the castle, 
and then would sleep with them once they were done. In order to avoid rumors of her adultery from circulating, she would force her lovers to escape via a secret tunnel. However, the tunnel was in fact trap-filled with spikes and sharp blades and would therefore quickly impale her victims. And while Matilda was eventually caught and killed by the locals, her beautiful figure can still be seen there today, prowling the halls and calling out to visitors in a seductive voice. Number 5. Kelly's Castle Malaysia certainly isn't home to too many castles, yet one of its most famous also happens to be haunted. Known as Kelly's Castle, it was once the property of a certain William Kelly Smith. He was a civil engineer who traveled to Malaysia in order to get rich, and after many years of failed businesses, finally became very wealthy thanks to his investments in rubber plantations. This incited him to build a massive mansion for both him and his family back in Scotland, with the idea being that it would be the largest building in all of Malaysia. However, these plans got cut short when William died of pneumonia while purchasing an elevator in the Portuguese capital of Lisbon, causing his family to sell the uncompleted home and remain in Scotland. The new owners never bothered to finish construction, and thus the castle still stands uncompleted to this day. Yet despite this, the castle is known to be the site of some spooky occurrences. That's because there have been multiple reports of ghostly figures being seen through windows, and some even claim to have seen William's daughter in the bedrooms. However, given that they died thousands of kilometers away, many don't believe that the ghosts of the Kellys can be found there. Instead, most point the finger at Tamil workers who died of Spanish flu during the building's construction. More ominously, there are some that even say that the site is haunted by the victims of the Japanese, who reportedly used the site to carry out tortures and executions during World War II. Regardless, we think it's fair to say that Kelly Castle is nothing if not ominous. Number 4. Elts Castle of all the castles on this list, the ghost that haunts Elts Castle is the most unconventional. Located in central Germany, it was built in the 9th century and is considered to be so iconic that it even featured on the West German 500 Deutsche Mark note from 1965 until 1992. Yet beyond its stunning architecture, it is the ghost of Agnes Elts that makes it stand apart. Legend has it that Agnes had been courted by a knight of the Brunsberg family, but soon found that he was not to her liking. Yet despite this, he continued to court her, and it got to the point that he forcibly kissed her at a dance. This caused Agnes to promptly slap him in the face, causing Bronzeburg to flee in shame. At this point, the Elses assumed that the Bronzeburg would attack the castle out of vengeance, and thus defended the castle for weeks. Yet when no attack came, the Elts' men left for a hunting trip, and this prompted the Bronzebergs to launch an attack. When Agnes realized what was happening, she dressed up in her brother's armor and went down to the castle gates or she went head to head with Brunsberg. The scorned knight promptly killed her, yet at the battle's end he realized what he had done and fled from the castle in horror. To this day, Agnes can still be seen running through the halls in her brother's armor. On the other hand, Brunsberg is sometimes seen waiting outside the castle, still hoping that Agnes will forgive him and agree to be his wife. Therefore, if you'd like to see the location of this incredible story and give the castle a visit, then you can take a tour between the months of April and October. Number 3. Leap Castle Medieval Ireland truly was a rather violent place, as the various clans that lived there would often clash in a rather gruesome fashion. This has made many of the castles on the island haunted, and Leap Castle is no exception. Built around the year 1250 in central Ireland, it was the dwelling place of the O'Carroll clan. They had a reputation for being especially brutal, as they would not hesitate to kill both enemies and fellow family members in the quest for power. This has made Leap Castle pretty problematic, as the spirits of many of those killed there remain in the castle's halls to this day. While many ghosts are known to reside in Leap Castle, the Bloody Chapel is one of their main stomping grounds. Yet of all the spirits that have been seen there, the O'Carroll priest is the most infamous. After the death of Mulrooney O'Carroll in 1532, a fierce power struggle developed between the remaining O'Carroll brothers over who would be the next chieftain. One of these brothers happened to be a priest, and so when the priest began a mass before waiting for all of his family members to attend, one of the brothers stabbed him in the chest, killing him on the spot. To this day, the priest still haunts the chapel. Yet the most infamous room in the castle is the so-called Murder Hole Room. The site of many of the murders within the castle, it was a dungeon like no other. That's because it was designed so that prisoners would fall through a trap door and have their lungs punctured by wooden spikes on the ground. Thus given that three cartloads of skeletons were found within its depths, it's no wonder that many have remained as spirits within the castle. Number 2. 
Chillingham Castle. If you want to visit a castle that will send chills down your spine, then Chillingham is the place for you. Located in the northern English county of Northumberland, it was originally built in the late 12th century as a monastery. However, due to it being very close to the border between England and Scotland, it was soon converted into a castle and served as a staging ground for several English and Scottish invasions. Yet once wars between the two nations ceased, the castle was converted into a more elegant abode and now serves as a stately hotel. However, despite Chillingham Castle appearing to be pretty from the outside, we'd still suggest not staying the night. That's because it is reportedly one of the most haunted castles in England, and for good reason. After all, it's home to a host of different spirits, yet there are two that stand out in particular. The first is the Radiant Boy, who would often be seen in the castle's pink room shrieking at the stroke of midnight. The cries always seem to come from a specific spot in the wall, and once the shrieks faded, a figure of a young boy dressed in blue would appear. Eventually, the owners decided to open up this section of the wall, and it was there that they found the bones of a child surrounded by decaying fragments of blue cloth. After being given a Christian burial, the radiant boy apparently disappeared for quite some time. However, once guests began to sleep in the room, blue flashes of light began to reappear. The second is the spirit of Lady Berkeley, the wife of a certain Lord Grey. She was left abandoned with their baby daughter when her husband ran off with her own sister. To this day, she can still be heard calling for her husband in the corridors, leaving a cold chill wherever she goes. Number 1. Edinburgh Castle if you happen to hail from Scotland, then chances are you've heard of Edinburgh Castle. After all, the building dominates the city skyline and was apparently built all the way back in the 12th century. As you might imagine, its grandeur and location has made it a central fortress in several Scottish battles, with some of the most prominent being the Wars of Scottish Independence in the 14th century and the Jacobite Uprising of 1745. In fact, these battles were so frequent that it reportedly underwent 26 sieges in its 1,100-year-old history, making it one of the most attacked places in the entire world. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that quite a few spirits haunt the premises. One of the most famous is that of a young piper. That's because after some tunnels were found below the castle a few hundred years ago, he decided to explore them and played his bagpipes along the way so that people above ground would hear where he was. However, after he got about halfway, the music stopped and when rescuers were sent to find him, he had reportedly vanished without a trace. Yet it appears that he never really did leave, as the music from his bagpipes can still be heard wafting through the tunnels today. Beyond the Piper, the castle is also haunted by many military men. One of the most notable of these is the headless drummer boy, who supposedly began making appearances in 1650. While not much is known about him, his drumming is often heard from the battlements, and apparently the sight of him is a forewarning that danger was to come upon the castle. To top this off, the castle's dungeons are also known to be spiritually active, as they're home to many soldiers who were captured in the wars against the English. So it goes without saying that this castle truly has a wide array of ghostly figures. Watch our scary playlist for more top 15 videos about the most scary subjects. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best videos.